procedures. And there are a lot of other procedures that they do in Turkey. I, on the plane back, I saw, you know, people with the uh, hair transplant, people with like new jaw implant, people with tummy tuck, butt implant, boob job. I saw one guy that did his shoulders. I was like, what the hell? You know, <laughs> he, got, he, got, he had it like. Ladies and men to gents, welcome back. This is a new episode. I'm doing something different today. So, if you're new to this channel, my name is Joel. I go by the name The Real Joel here on YouTube. And I've been documenting my hair transplant that I did in Turkey four months ago. Usually I do my videos in my toilet, but today I want to do something different. I want to do it in my living room. Yes, I'm representing Nigeria with the hat, so let's keep it going. Let me set this up just right. I'm going to screw this in. <clears throat> the way I got this set up is pretty ingenious. That's my buddy, he's calling me. <clears throat> Anyways, welcome back guys. So, today's video, I'm gonna be going through some basic questions that I've been getting a lot for the most part. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna test out my new um, microphone on this video. So, hold up a second. Yeah, I know. I'm all over the place today. Plus, I'm wearing these glasses because I have pink eye, so bear with me. So I bought this um, connection here for the, uh, uh, what'd you call it? Um, Osmo Pocket 3. I'm using the Osmo Pocket 3 to record. I typically use my Canon, this Canon right here. I typically use this Canon for all my YouTube videos, but I'm switching it up to use the Osmo Pocket 3. It's a vlogging camera. And it does face tracking, which is cool. So I bought this Movo mic uh, and then this adapter to connect to the Osmo Pocket 3. So I'm gonna turn it on now. You see the um, red and blue. Then I turn this on. So now it's connected. Then I'm gonna connect this to the back of. <clears throat> so let's see, testing, testing. Yeah, I think it's working. I'm just gonna put this here. Uh, some people have been saying my audio is bad, but I hope this makes it better. Anyways, we're like almost three minutes in and I haven't told you the format of this video. My format, it's always the same. I start off with telling you about what I went through from week 15 to week 16 or i think this is 16 to 17. uh then i put my oils uh do my hair routine today is a dermarola day but i'm gonna skip dermarola today because i had some issues with my hair and i'll show you in the big reveal and then the last part of the video i answer questions common questions that i get from time to time i'll go through it and uh, help give you guys answers this hair transplant thing that everyone is doing now so without any further ado drum roll let's do the big reveal wow. yeah so week 16 to 17 what i experienced i had three really bad pimples these were like big the size was crazy i don't know if you can still see one but um there was one here and then there was another one here and I didn't like it at all. It hurt. I had to put uh, Neosporin on it. I had to wash my hair multiple times and uh, it went in like three or four days, but I didn't like that feeling. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna skip doing a Domarola this week. I brushed my hair, put the oils already. I did wash my hair too. And we're done with that. Uh, week 16 to 17, what you should be experiencing is significant hair growth, but the density hasn't come in yet. So the hair that they that they put is actually long. If you can see, you see how long it is? This is all new hair. 
You see that? Really long. So that's a good thing. That's a good sign. And if you're taking care of your hair like you should, if you've been watching this video, these videos, my videos, um, I've been showing you how to do that. You should be in this condition or even better. You know, again, everyone is different, but uh, yeah, at four months in, there should be some level of, you know, significant growth. Um, so that's what I experienced for week 16 to 17. Uh, personal life update. I did go to my construction site yesterday, went through with my architect. My architect is my, was my former, uh, not my classmate, but I went to grad school with him. Ghanaian guy, Selassie, shout out. Uh, he owns Exodus Architecture, Exodus Construction. Uh, I have my own firm too. So we sort of collaborated. We've been making good project progress. They put the windows in. Uh, I'm going through the framing again, just to make sure I, when they start putting sheetrock and putting the plumbing, that everything is in order. Uh, again, the property is in Newark. It's a two family that I'm gonna convert to a three family later on until I get my TCO. The TCO is uh, your cert a temporary certificate of occupancy. That, that's a way to let the bank know that you're done with the construction. I use a 203k loan in this project. If you're not familiar with that, comment below. I can go deeper into um, the specifics of a 203k loan. I think it's a good program, but it's not for everyone, uh, especially people that are new to this. Um, Newark has been booming. There's a lot of development going on there. I told you I'm part of the uh, young entrepreneur developer program that they're doing. Um, they have seminars um, every quarter. Uh, they talk about empty lots that they have opportunities for uh, entrepreneurs to buy. Uh, they show the master plan for Newark and what their projections are for 20, 2030 and things like that. So if you're interested in things like that, you know, go check out <laughs> Newark's website. They have good information there to help anyone that's interested in uh, development. Um, other stuff, yo, what's up with TikTok, man? TikTok banned. I've just started getting a grasp of, grasp of TikTok. I know I didn't know how to use it. I, I see a lot of people making so much money on TikTok and I'm like, yo, what am I missing? So um, I do have a TikTok account. It's called uh, uh, Fit underscore Joel. And I've been documenting not my hair transplant, but um, push-ups I've been doing. I've been doing push-ups every day for the last 103 days. So today we're making 104. And um, a lot of people are asking me, why do I do these push-ups? It comes from two reasons. So first was obviously I did the hair transplant and after two weeks, uh, after the procedure, they tell you not to go to the gym or overexert yourself. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna work out from home. And the benefit of that is that I can control when I work out, how much I uh, overexert myself and things like that. Because when you go to the gym, it's always crowded. You don't find the equipment that you need, and blah, 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 that kind of stuff. I also did it because I have high blood pressure. It's wild to me. I don't know why I have high blood pressure. Maybe it's genetic. I eat right. I don't eat fried foods that much. I don't take salts. I don't take sugary sodas. You know, I exercise a lot. So I told myself I'm going to be consistent with my workout. I'm going to try to, you know, focus on my diet as well to reduce my blood pressure. Um, but, um, you know, it's still a little high. Unfortunately, I did get it um, measured today because I went to the urgent care for the eye. Um, but I'm going to keep doing this for another 30 days, you know, see how it works, works out. Hopefully, hopefully the blood pressure goes down. So fingers crossed on that. Um, any other personal things? Yeah, TikTok stuff. Um, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I have mixed feelings about it, about that whole TikTok ban. I know if TikTok just starts giving everyone free money, it's going to cause like a riot. And that could be a very, very big disruptor in the whole like social media sphere. But I'm trying to get that money on TikTok. So go follow me if you haven't followed me on TikTok yet. And be honest with me, if my, if my content is shit, just let me know, you know, if my content is horrible, just let me know. Uh, okay, so now questions time. Let me get on my phone. Um, so one question that I got literally today was, 
Tell me more about Turkey. I did a whole video about my stay in Turkey. I like the place, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, Turkey, uh, depending on the package you get. So I went to Hiva Clinic. So I saw, saw Turkey through the lens of, you know, Hiva Clinic's experience. So um, the hotel that they recommended for us, the location of the procedure, uh, and things like that, you know, picking up from the airport, those experiences were partly controlled by Hiva Clinic. So that's also another reason why you should pick a good clinic and, and pick a package that works best for you. So the package that we got was, again, I and my brother went, was pick up from the airport, drop off, hotel for three nights, uh, food included, and um, then pick up uh, to the clinic, drop off, both for the procedure day and the day after when you do your first wash. That was the whole package and it cost 2,400. If, I, if we brought cash, it would have cost me uh, 1,900. Um, so again, Turkey is relatively cheap. The dollar goes a long way, especially if you are shopping in the Asian side. So there are two sides of Turkey. Um, there's a European side and you literally have to cross a bridge to the Asian side. The European side is the more touristy area. That's where you have the Hagia Sophia. You have um, other very uh, notable um, pieces of architecture. I love architecture. I'm an architect, uh, also architecture historian. Um, there's a significant place in civilization with, you know, Istanbul and, you know, because it was the center of the Roman Empire at one point. So I did, I did enjoy that. I, I can go back to Turkey just for that specifically. If you're not like a architecture enthusiast and you're just going for the fun of it, yeah, there are also other things you can do there. It is a much, is, it is a big metro, metropolitan, uh, a lot of shopping, uh, products are relatively cheap. Like I said, in the Asian side, most especially coffees, um, designer wear, colognes, perfumes, uh, if you want to get nice tailored suits, um, if you want to get like um, designer bags, all those kind of things, they're relatively cheaper in the Asian side. They might be fake, they might not be, um, but it, it's up to you. Um, one thing that really just a little dampered my experience a little bit, I did buy uh, the, um, what do you call it, meta glasses. This is the um, Gen 1 meta glasses. Yeah, so this is the box it comes in. These glasses you can record on it. You just click here and it starts recording. So this is the meta glass that I bought. My wife bought this for me as a gift. But then I bought Gen 2. Um, and I did some vlogging with it. But then it got stolen or I lost it. I don't know what happened till today. I don't know. One thing that Facebook should do is create some way that we can track this. Like the phone. So if you leave it somewhere, you can know where you left it. Um... Other thing about Turkey, the food is great. F the food is cheap. Uh, the nightlife is cool. I went to two spots, one like Afrobeat spot, and another spot was like more house music. Um, so it was cool. Uh, I didn't spend too much money outside of, you know, the 1400 that uh, was budgeted for the procedure in the hotel. I think I spent maybe like $300 more for just like extra food and entertainment. And if you want to go crazy with shopping, you can spend another 500 bucks to buy whatever you want to buy. Um, customs was cool. There wasn't any like hoopla with getting into the country. Although as an American citizen, you do need to get a visa and it's visa on arrival and it's cash. They don't have, uh, they don't take credit cards. So you have to use an ATM, which might cost you an arm and a leg. So just bring cash to be on the safe side. I, I had the $30, I was $39 exactly, either 30 or 40 bucks. Um, so always remember that. Bring. I think Turkey is just a bring cash place. Um, the people are cool. Everyone knows, you know, you know, you know when you have the, when you've done the hair uh, procedure, they know that, okay, they're not supposed to give you alcohol. They're very um, accepting of people that uh, come to the country for, those procedures. And there are a lot of other procedures that they do in Turkey. I, on the plane back, I saw, you know, people with the uh, hair transplant, people with like new jaw implant, people with tummy tuck, butt implant, boob job. I saw one guy that did his shoulders. I was like, what the hell? You know, <laughs> he, got, he, got, he had it like, I don't know, but there's, there's a lot of stuff that you can do there. Um, so yeah, 
all in all, I'll, I'll rate Turkey an eight and a half out of ten. You know, just based on my experience, will I go back there again? Probably will uh, with the family. It's a, it's a it's a good spot. You know, um, your, your dollar goes a long way, and that's always a good thing uh, for me at least. Um, so that's it for Turkey. That was the first question, and then the second question. Uh, going back to the Dermarola, I did a video last week about the Dermarola. So someone was saying that um, the Dermarola isn't good because um, you could injure your skin when you use a Dermarola compared to the Derma Stamp. Now, I always say that, yes, there always are valid points to these arguments, but it all ultimately ends up on how the person uses it. If you use it with caution, you know, you would not injure yourself. You can injure yourself with the derma stamps too. Um, most importantly is take care of your skin. The skin is the foundation for where the hair would grow. So take care of your skin, moisturize your skin, uh, wash it, and make, it, make sure your skin has all the nutrients it needs to grow hair. The domarillo is just an added icing on the cake to facilitate that hair growth. If you have bad skin, the Dermarola would not work. Derma stamp or Dermarola. So my philosophy is, as long as you're taking care of the skin, if you use the Dermarola or the Derma stamp, however, whichever you pick, it will work. Um, and I do have like a mix that I use to moisturize the skin and help hair grow. I've used it for my beard. Um, I use a derma roller for my beard too, so I never was able to grow a full beard, but I was able to get that done with the derma roller and the uh, oils that I, I mix together. And I've done a video about that. I'll put a link here too. The, the oils, is you can get it on Amazon. It's uh, rosemary oil, uh, I add baby oil, castor oil, uh, and I also add um, a little bit of um, the mint oil to, to the mix. Uh, and that, that's that been helpful for me. It's helped my beard grow. It's helped my hair grow. And I think it'll work for anyone else as long as you take care of your skin. Um, so that's it for today's video. Next week would be week 18. Um, I'm going to give you updates on the home. Uh, hopefully it goes well. The goal is to be complete with construction at the end of April furnish it uh, so by june i'll be able to rent out i'm gonna do three rental units and one airbnb um so fingers crossed on this i hope the project goes well and um i hope i start making money off of it so until next time guys have a good one cheers hey hey and don't don't forget to subscribe man i always forget to tell people please subscribe uh, it helps the algorithm. It helps them push this video to other people that are curious about doing their hair in Turkey, uh, about hair grow, about um, taking care of their skin for uh, hair grow. So yeah, anyone that you know is curious about that, share this video with them. I think it will be insightful and helpful and maybe give value to uh, their experience when they're trying to look for a clinic or after their procedure. So again, don't be shy comment below share this video subscribe do all that good stuff and one more thing i did start this youtube channel just for um health and fitness um but it sort of segued into you know the hair transplant and, and and my life's journey so a lot of the content that will be posted on this channel will be more evolving around journeys right my home journey my health journey my hair journey it's just documentation of things I do on a day-to-day. -day. So, and I think that's what comes naturally to me. So if you like that stuff, stick around, baby, because it's going to be amazing this year. Let's go. Cheers.